The Protectly Vault has many uses depending on the application, including Windows, Linux, firewalls, network management applications, and other uses. The common requirement for many of these uses is to have an operating system installed on the Vault. The Vault is like any other computer in that you can use a monitor and keyboard along with an installation USB to install an operating system. You can order your Vault with an OS such as OpenSense or Ubuntu as a pre-install option through our website, but if you choose not to do that, or if you ever want to install something else on the Vault yourself, this video will explain how to create a bootable USB drive for software installation with Windows. For Windows, we recommend a tool called Rufus. The download link on their website can be found in the video description below. Note that before the USB drive can be created, the desired installation image for the application, whether it be OpenSense, Linux, Windows, or something else, should have been previously downloaded to the computer and, if necessary, uncompressed. After downloading and potentially uncompressing your installation image, download the Rufus tool from their homepage, rufus.ie. Verify an executable file with a name of Rufus 4.6 or similar is downloaded. Open up the Rufus application from your file explorer and verify that the main menu pops up. Next, insert a USB drive that is large enough to hold the installation image into a USB port on the PC. Verify that Rufus recognizes the USB drive. If it does, you'll see it listed under Device. Click on the Select button to bring up a list of installation images previously copied to the PC. Rufus will display a window on the PC. Navigate to the folder on the PC which has the desired bootable images. The desired file may not be displayed if it's not the same type as selected in the Rufus tool. In that case, click on the drop-down menu in the lower right corner of the window and select All Files to display all files in the folder. Select the desired bootable image on the PC and verify that it is displayed in the Rufus tool at the bottom of the window. After you've confirmed that your USB and the correct installation image are selected, press the Start button. A warning should appear on screen. Go ahead and select OK, keeping in mind that any data that may have been previously written to the USB will be erased during this process. Make sure you've selected the correct drive and are OK with overwriting any files that may be on the selected drive before hitting OK. Verify the installation file is copied to the USB, the application status is ready, and the green bar is complete. Safely remove the USB drive by clicking the icon in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Now that the bootable USB drive has been formatted, the software must be loaded onto the Vault. If there is no bootable image on the internal mSATA drive of the Vault, the Vault will automatically boot to the USB and begin the installation. If there is already a bootable image on the internal mSATA drive of the Vault, you must select the USB via the Boot Selection screen. Do this by first inserting the USB drive into the vault, then boot up the vault to the boot selection menu by holding down the F11 key during power up. Verify the vault boots automatically from the USB or the boot source selection screen appears. If the selection screen appears, select the USB drive as the boot source and verify that the installation has begun. Lastly, follow the installation instructions for the specific software that's being loaded onto the vault. If you need any more help with this whole process, check out the Knowledge Base article on the Protectly website, link in the video description. There you can find specific applications and instructions on how to install them. And if you can't find what you're looking for there, feel free to leave a comment below. If you liked today's video, we ask that you leave it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching!